World Series time, ladies and gentlemen. It's just one season. We turned the Baltimore Orioles from a team that selected first overall in the MLB draft to a team that's competing for a championship. And I'm being honest with you. I tried my hardest to find uh, an Orioles hat, sh uh, shirt, and pants for this video for the World Series. And I couldn't get it here in time. So you're going to see me wearing that stuff eventually. But I couldn't have y'all waiting an entire week for this. Another week. Because, I mean, I guess this is coming out like a week. An entire other week for this video. So the best I could do is just rock my MLB The Show 22 shirt or hoodie. Shout out to um, San Diego Sports Studios. Whoever the hell makes this game. All right. And it's time for the World Series versus the Arizona Diamondbacks. Now... I think I can confidently say we are the favorite to win this series. Just by looking at the roster, I mean, they're sporting 370 overalls and a 68 overall. Like, I know that don't matter too much, but you, I'm just saying that we have the more talented roster at this point in time. They have the best pitcher of the playoffs so far. Zach Gallen has, uh, he's 3-0, 23 innings pitched. He's got a 117 ERA with 21 strikeouts. He's been incredible. Um, they got Bumgarner, they got Luke Weaver, you know, it's basically, uh, and Ryan Nelson hasn't pitched yet, but it's been basically Zach Gallen up top as like basically unhittable, unmesswittable, and that's the game we're playing, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm excited, buckle in. Um, I've been taking a lot of breaks in between these episodes, I haven't really played Diamond Dynasty in... It's probably been three weeks at this point, so the only time I'm actually playing MLB The Show at this point is when I'm doing these videos. So, uh, you know, again, probably gonna be rusty off on the start, but just, just bear with me. The goal is to take advantage of us actually playing this one and win it. You know what I'm saying? If we can guarantee ourselves a win, we're already ahead for this series. Uh, we got Josh Rojas, he is terrible right now. Wilmer De Defoe, he's terrible right now. They got a lot of people that are cold and not, you know, I know it only can change in just one swing of the bat, but you get what I'm saying, baby. World Series, we're here. It's so wild. This is the Baltimore Orioles we're talking about. And look at the guys. The, the, oh, man. I'm, okay, lock in, Kenny. Lock in, baby. We got to do what we got to do. Whew. Hey, I know the, the, the jitters got to be going for Aaron Nola right here. Um, again, I, I just started watching baseball basically a year ago. Wow. Uh, that's a strikeout to start off. Josh Rojas. I don't know why he's leading off for a championship team or a team that's trying to win the World Series. Um, when he's hitting 150 at this point or something like that. The Butterflies has to be crazy. I'm guessing that Aaron Nola has not played on this type of stage just yet. I could be mistaken, but I think he spent his, his entire career with the Phillies. Hold on. Aaron Nola has not. He has not pitched in a World Series. Um, you know, I get my things mix, mixed up. You know what I'm thinking about? Strikeout number two, by the way. Who's that? Perdomo? Perdomo? Um, strikeout number two, baby. What am I thinking about? Who let... Oh... Oh, oh, Ramon Urias, you can make this play too. Say in it, say in it. It's too late. Uh, that was a bad pitch by me. And that's uh, Cattell Marte. He is their best hitter, as everybody knows. I'm trying to think about it. Who left their organization, like, as a superstar, and then the year after he left, they won the World Series? Was that Bryce Harper? Was that Bryce Harper leaving the Nationals? I could be mistaken, but that's that's what's on my mind. Yeah, I think it, I think it was. Um... He left, and then the next year they won the World Series. Yeah, and and seven versus the Astros. Uh, so that's cool. Trey Turner, Matt Scherzer, Steven Strasburg, Rendon, a, a Juan Soto was 20 years old. All right, let's lock in, lock in, Kenny, lock in. Forget about that one two a two one count. Didn't even look to see what your pitch repertoire was, Mr. Zach Gallen. We got fastball, circle change, uh, knuckle curve. Slider and then a cutter. All right, lock in, Kenny. Look for those fastballs. That's through a gap. There we go. Lead off hit in the World Series for Tim Anderson. That's beautifully done. One runner on already, ladies and gentlemen. One runner on. 2 2 count for Benatendi. He has been raking against right handed pitching this entire postseason run. So I think he's, he's up for another hit right here. That's not it. 3 2 count. For Ben Attendee, 326 this postseason run. So, like I said, he's been really, really good. Really, really good. As I said, he's been really, really good. Go ball. Go ball. Now go ball. Let's go. Ben Attendee. I think that might be the first home run I've hit with him. Oh, that's so nice. Let's go, baby. We are on the board in the first inning. It's very similar to the home run I hit with um, 
Trey Mancini, I think it was last episode, where it was high outside the zone, but right in my sweet spot as a guy that loves high fastballs. We find that straight to center. Uh, get off my bat ball. And just like that, Ben Attendi is trying to win his second. I'm gonna I'm gonna say second. World Series ring. Yup, he won it in 2018. See, even though I just started watching baseball, I know at least a little bit of some, some. And just like that, oh, I thought that was gonna loop over the head. I was about to say, we hitting, we hitting, ladies and gentlemen. Ben Attendi, man, that's so, he's been killing right-handed pitching all postseason. What a great pickup that has looked like right now. You know, I was a bit skeptical to bring him in. I'm being honest with you, but I knew that I needed another left-handed bat, and that's why we signed him in free agency. That was a beaut, like that pitch should have been a home run. That pitch should have been a home run or a double or something. I was late on it. PCI was perfectly placed. I just didn't expect it to, to be where it was. Anyway, um, I was a little bit hesitant to sign Ben Attendi because uh, I didn't know oof, what his bat would look like, really. And now that sign is, other than Aaron Nola, of course, looks like one of our better offseason acquisitions. That's the word I'm trying to say. But, you know, we did do a lot this offseason, though. Bringing in um, Tim Anderson, of course. You know, drafting Robbie Dotson and pulling him up halfway through the season. And then Aaron Nola. We, we traded for Michael King. Like, this was a very eventful offseason last year to get us to this point. But Ben Attendi, thank you. All right. Seth Beer. Pretty good against right-handed pitching. So, we got to be safe here. We got to... You know what I'm saying? They might not have like a crazy superstar in their lineup. They got Cattell Marte, who I guess I can I can count as, of course, as an all-star caliber player. But they don't have the Otanis or the Trouts that we saw in the last round that we got a super pitch around. But they do have some people that can tear you up in the right scenario. And I think Seth Beer. That's exactly what I thought. But you know what's crazy? I don't think I missed my spot. I don't think it was a bad pitch. I legitimately just think he, he found the pitch. I mean, got to show some love for that, man. She got to show some love. Like I said, he was, I knew he was very good at hitting right-handed pitching. Um, but dang, that was not what I expected. All right, Aaron Ola, lock in. All right, we got a 3-1 count with uh, Var, Var, Varshu up to bat. Next. That can be a play. We're going to let it drop. I didn't want to get too dangerous, especially with left field being so much pushed back. If that ball gets pads, Robbie, that's probably a triple. Um, so I just I just wanted to hit it down. Oh, yeah, the guy has 70, 78 speed. That probably would have been a triple if we let it get past. I'm okay with just giving up the single and focusing on batter. Get get that, Polanco. Dang, they, they, are, they are hitting this in it, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, it's the World Series. I didn't think this was about to be a, a walk. I'm always going to walk over them, but, man, they are definitely... Um, hitting that cutter low and inside against these these batters are oh my god g-man Choi could have killed that pitch 1000 percent that was a bad pitch by me but with a one two count i'm gonna pitch around him a little bit so we can get, try to get a strikeout let's get him a fastball inside see what you can do with that that's playable by ben attendee and he's definitely gonna make this routine i wonder if they're gonna try to tag it they are ben attendee don't have a complete cannon but he got enough to throw him out at third Ben Attendee, MVP Ben Attendee. Wow, he got the two-run shot and the throwout on the base pads. That's a that's a huge, huge throwout. I mean, hey, he's got the best arm on the team, um, at least as far as outfielders go with a 73. I didn't even get a perfect release on the throw. Um, but wow, that was great. Okay, that's beautiful. They got the memo now. Do not run on Ben Attendee, especially on nothing shallow. Are you kidding me? 3-1 count, I'm throwing him a pitch. There we go. At three two, of course, runner's gonna be going. I would assume. I'm gonna throw that cutter on the inside for the righty, and that's Jorge. That's 26 speed. Yes, sir. That is some good gloving. That is some good defense from Jorge Polanco. A great throw out by by Ben Attendee. The boys are looking phenomenal right now on the defensive side of the ball. You love to see it. All right, Mr. Polanco. That's a. That looks good. It's not going to be gone because it's left field. But it's off the wall, baby. Lead off double for Jorge Polanco after a great showcase of leather on the defensive side of the ball. He comes out with a lead off double. And it's a 3-2 count to Ryan Mountcastle. I forget that this man is hitting so low in our lineup. What a steal. After a poor regular season, that's dropping. And I don't trust whoever that is. We're going. He's making the turn. And we are on the board with another run. The guys... 
the guys are hitting tonight. 3-2 Cali takes it the other way on a late hit, I would assume. That felt very late to me. It, it was literally very late. Hey, them bloopers count, baby. A hit is a hit. Now we got Adley. Ah, uh, that one was very late, but it's a, a different scenario, different outcome. All right, Robbie, still not hitting the ball great, but we know sometimes he can. He had a big home run in the last series, so I don't, I don't want to pull him. Don't want to pull him, especially if we're going against right-handed hitting. You know what I'm saying? If it was lefty, even though he has pretty good lefty splits, um, I might pull him, but against the righty, I, I trust Rook. I trust Rook. Who we got over there first? You know what? I'm sitting him. I don't usually tag up on 3-2 counts, but I'm, I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to give it a try here. I know it's the World Series. You might not want to try new stuff in the World Series, but hey, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good about our chances with Robbie Dotson. 3-2 count. Zach, Co Zach Collins. Jeez. Zach Gallon. That is going foul. Same thing, though. We're sending him again. All right, we're sending him again. If it's a line out, that's fine. No, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. <laughs> hey, the timing was good. I just yanked that PCI. I will take that as an out again over a line out. Okay, we're back to the top of the order. Tim Ander uh, Tim Anderson let us off with a single in the first, uh, so maybe he could keep this this two out rally going. I have not attempted to steal a lot of bases in this series. I don't get a ton of base runners, so it feel weird for me to potentially throw one away. That is a such a good pitch for me to hit, and I'm way under it. So all three of our outs are us getting under a pitch? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, Ryan Mountcastle gives us back a two-run lead, and we'll take that. Will Josh Rojas get a hit this series? The answer through two at-bats? Absolutely not. Perdomo, they're predicting drag bunt. Let's see. He goes through swinging, and that is a ground out to Polanco. Yeah, man, like I said, there's not a ton of people in this lineup that, that give me fear. Could tell Marte could be one of those guys, man. Until Marte can be one of those guys. But other than him, I guess Seth Beer, because we just saw him go yard. But, like, other than that, I'm just not really tripping over anybody in the lineup, man. He's got a good eye, too. I didn't realize it was Mitch Hanniger batting in the, in the four hole for them. Okay, that's a good pickup, man. It's a good pickup. I don't know if they traded for him or signed him in free agency. But we're out of the inning. One, one two, three inning for our guy Aaron Nola. He settled down after that home run. Oh, my God. Ben Attendee might have done it again. Go ball. He did it again. Ben Attendee. Oh, oh, oh. oh, my God. Oh, that's our MVP, isn't it? That's our MVP right there. I don't know who else it could be. Two at-bats, two home runs for Ben Attendee. Oh, that was nasty. I mean, you pitched me the ball right at my PCI. I ain't going to miss it every time. I'm going to catch it eventually. Oh, my God. <clears throat> a little swing happy after hitting. If you hit two home runs and three innings, you feel kind of good about yourself. And you start swinging at everything. Feeling good, man. Feeling good. That's another really good contact, but not enough to get down. A little bit under it, I guess. A little bit too much air underneath. But uh, it, felt, it felt good off the bat. I'm finding the ball pretty good. You know, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling very good about this game so far. Is that dropping? No way. It is. Ground rule double for Trey Mancini. I went underneath. I went under um, outside the zone. Got under it a ton. And it still ended up finding a place to fall for a double. And now we got Cedric Mullins up to bat. Who? Oh, ah, the PCI is not perfect. Oh, my God. I feel pretty good. I felt pretty good about this swing, bro. I really did. I really felt good about that swing. It didn't get exactly the way we wanted it to. I was a little bit outside on it. Um, but it's, that's okay because Jorge Polanco's up. And he's here to drive in run number five. He's, well, he's going to try to. 3-1 count for for um, Jorge Polanco. I don't know if that means he's going to give me something super hittable. Oh, wow. We I, mean, I, was, ta I was taken pretty much the entire time. And we got lucky. It is a 3-2 count um, for Ryan Mountcastle. I'm sending a runner on first to just run. It's 3-2 two, it's two count. And I got a pitch worth hitting and did not get enough of it. <sighs> we strained some runners. But Ben Attendee does it again. Mitch Hanniger right into the shift, man. The defense is working. Our, hey, our manager out there got the boys in the right spots. Hey, for a long time, I was anti-shift. That play made me want to continue to shift because that would have been a base hit. 
in any other circumstance. A ground out to Aaron Nola. These boys can't hit. <laughs> These boys can't hit. All right, Adley. Uh, I'm actually surprised. Oh, that's a, hey, that circle has gotten me swinging SMB as a couple times. I'm actually surprised that, that Zach Gal is still in the game, if I'm being honest. Dang, that's through. Oh, my God, that's through. I thought that was a routine play for Perdomo, but he cannot make it. The exit velo was crazy. It got off the bat like at 110. Okay, I'm exaggerating, but that's a very good hit. I mean, the, our left-handed batting has done wonders against him so far. Um, the confidence is extremely low. The energy is extremely low. He's not even through the fourth inning. He's got 71 pitches thrown. The circle in the dirt is killing me. Uh, thank God he hasn't thrown that on no two strike counts yet. Because, boy, he would have had seven strikeouts at this rate. So, uh, that's a double play ball. Dang, man. Come on, Robbie. Come on, Robbie. He's just saying he ain't been him. He ain't been him, bro. I just want his progression to be there. You know what I'm saying? Get through. Tim Anderson continues to rake. Continues to rake. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here's your worst nightmare, Mr. Gallon. I'm surprised they're not pulling him before this pitch. Oh, that's not it. That's not it. Okay. All right. The, the home run streak ends at two. All right, Varsho. Take care of this business. Mm. Got him going on something nasty. Let me give him a circle change. Watch the perfect circle change. Oh, my God. Uh, far from perfect. Same result as if it was perfect. Strike out. Sit down. I didn't realize how much left-handed hitter they had. Or are some of these people switch hitters? I don't really know. Do we even have a left-handed pitcher in our rotation? Is John Means left-handed? I don't think he is. Dylan Cease is a righty. Rodriguez is a Do we only have right-handed pitching in our starting our, our starters, our rotation. I don't really know. I'm, unless I'm mistaken. Tim. Ah, just just a little bit short on the reach. Josh Rojas' streak of not reaching base continues. <laughs> I mean, hey, I, I can't make it up, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so they do bring in someone new. It is Corbin Martin. He's got 10 in this pitch in the postseason. He's got a 7-2-1. Um, fastball, curveball, slider, circle change. All right, fastball's topping at like 96. Oh, that's a little funky. That's a little funky uh, pitch wind up. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. It might confuse us for a couple batters. Or not. Let's drop it. We'll take it. Bloopers. 3-2 count for Trey Mancini. Protect, but don't go too far. There we go, baby. First two on, Mr. Martin. Uh-oh. 0 for 2. 0 for 2 for Cedric Mullins. Mm. Don't like your odds here, Mr. Corbin. Don't like, don't like your odds to get this out, man. You know he's our clutchest player other than Jorge Polanco, of course. Um, and, and this is a clutch scenario, I think. I mean, maybe not. My, my controller's not vibrating, so actually I don't think it is. But it feels like it for me. But if you don't give us strikes, if, you, if this stage is too big for you, just say that. You know, we got Jorge Polanco up to bat next. Like I said, these are the clutch two people in our lineup. That was, that was not in the zone. I got kind of thirsty. Dang. Ah, we should have bases loaded right now with Polanco coming up to bat. Okay, let's not make it in vain, baby. Let's reach base. That's not it, Kenny. Dang. Double play ball, man. We should have bases loaded, no outs, but I sold. All right, one, two count. That's fine. Just get a base hit here. We'll take any runs at the moment. And we get it. Now imagine, now imagine if I would have took that pitch with Sedge Mullins. That's a two-run single right there. Oh, well, can't, cannot cannot what's the word um what's the saying something about spoiled milk i don't know bro is not even giving us strikes man not even getting the strikes well i mean again we'll take walks i mean maybe not because again i had this exact count with Sedgwick mullers and swung us some bs that's not bs but i wasn't perfect with it so g-man Choi makes that routine out i feel good if Sedgwick mullers get through the six i'm not Sedgwick mullers if aaron nola gets through the six Actually, I might let him go deeper than that. These games are pretty back-to-back. -back. I don't want to exhaust my bullpen, you know? If I'm going to let Aaron Nola go until I feel like he can anymore. Um, he's only got 79 pitches through through five and a third. I mean, ooh, he has not given up a hit in a minute. He has not given up a hit in a minute, it feels like. I mean, maybe I'm tripping and I'm just not remembering. Um, he hasn't given up threats. There has not been a single threat on the base pads. How about that? Uh-oh. 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 The swinging bunt single. 
Okay. Alright, that's fine. Who is this? Is this Seth Beer? It is. Alright, it's Seth Beer. We're not getting you anything. You were I will few Oh, they tripping. You're tripping. You it's one person you don't run. Oh! Oh my god. Okay, focus better, Kenny. Focus better, Kenny. Um, I'm gonna give you a fastball high and away. See what you think about those. It did not end up being high, but it definitely was away. All right, three, two, count. Give him a strike. Trust your defense. No shot. No shot. Cedric, save us. Oh, I did not want to make that. I did not want to do. Are you serious? Did he just get it inside the park? No, he's bugging. He's bugging. They get one run out of it. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Oh, he really just sold the bag, though. Oh, man. All right. Actually, I think I will. I'm going to warm up Brent's. Give give a left-handed um, pitcher for him. Dang. Robbie just really tried to sell the bag. That's not what I tried to do. It looked like it was very playable, if I'm being honest. That's not getting through, is it? Nope. Oh, it might. It is. Could tell Marte with an error? Hmm? Uh-oh. I feel like we've reached first base um, to start off innings. Like every inning, it feels like. It feels like our leadoff runner. Oh, that slider was crazy. Feels like our leadoff runner has reached every single inning. I can't prove that, but that's just what it feels like. No, 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 no. 2023 Rookie of the Year, Robbie Dotson. That's a base hit for our rook. And you know what? Nope, nope, nope. Actually, we're just going to keep it at two. <laughs> keep it at two. We might have been able to make it. I need to see who has arms on this team. I never checked, so let me do that right now. Okay. Um, Mitch hanniger has got a nice arm. Nobody scares me, really. We got some good accuracy from uh, Varsho, but that's it. That's dropping, baby. That's dropping, baby. That's dropping, baby. Look at us run. Look at us run. We'll take one. We'll take one on that. There's no rush. We got zero outs right now. That's no rush. We did not need to turn that corner. Was it 3-2 count to Ben Attendi? Okay. We'll take the walk. We'll take the walk. As much as I want to, you know, make Ben Attendee be another, the savior again, I can't. I, I got to take my walk, man. 3-2 count to Ramon Urias, too. That's right down the middle. Everybody get back. That was right down the middle. That was right down the middle. Ah, that's rough. That's a rough. That's rough. That's very rough. I feel like the PCI was huge right there. But, I mean, I'm, I'm still on the same settings I always have been on, so... Nothing has changed. That pitch was just uh, the size of a volleyball. We just, you know what I'm saying? Missed it a little bit. Two, two, count. Trey Mancini, he's got a double and a walk tonight. Three, two, count. Trey Mancini with Cedric Mullins up to bat. I don't know how this pitcher is still in the game at the moment. I'm being honest with you. What a terrible way to manage your bullpen. What a terrible way to manage your bullpen. We'll do a double tag here. We'll get a run. We'll take a run, and we got Cedric Mullins coming up to bat next. I'm assuming that this pitcher is done. Um, I'm just going to assume that he's getting yanked, and he does. Okay. Who are you? Blake Walston. Um, he doesn't even really have a real face. So let's see. how. Oh, he's a lefty. Fastball slider. Okay, let's see what you look like. First lefty we faced. Um, oh, we'll take those. That's dropping. It's not. Dang. All right. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull my guy, Aaron Nola. Right now, we are up 7-2. to two. Let's just take care of business. I forget. Oh, my God. Jake Brinch just got this man swinging at some BS. We'll take that. I forgot he's like our most out-of-control pitcher in our bullpen. Not really understanding why, um, but he just is. You know, he just is. And if he could give us one inning in, in relief, uh, we're feeling fine. I don't like when we get 3-2 counts with him. Because I feel like I'm obligated to give up a very hittable pitch. Because if I try to pitch around, he's going to miss the spot. That's fine. We're fine. We're fine, boys. We still, got a, we still got a nice little lead here. I don't know if Jake Brent should be pitching in the World Series. That's when, I, that's when I'm starting to realize. Let me warm up some somebody else. Uh, <laughs> who? Oh, my God. Look at the ERA of our bullpen. A 10-8. A 6-2-5. A 4-6-6. I mean, we got some people here. You know, Aaron Bummer has been amazing. Um, I'm giving uh, I'm giving Aaron Bummer the eighth and maybe in the, maybe the ninth as well. We'll see. We'll see. I like the idea of bringing a left-handed pitcher pitcher in. I just don't think Zach Brent was the guy. I don't want to bring in Aaron Bummer too early. You know what I'm saying? 
But man, Brents is actually not the guy. He's just not good. That slider has missed every single time. I feel like I only can throw fastballs with him. Thank God Carson Kelly had the bat on his shoulders. Yeah, I can't I can't really throw that slider. Let me try to circle. All right, we'll, we'll get out of the inning. Home run by Varsho. That is okay. Could never have too many runs, so let's keep it going. They got a left-handed batter or a left-handed pitcher up. We got some really good left-handed hitters in the lineup as well, you know? Oh, my God. That's a... I thought... Oh, get back, get back, get back, get back. I thought that that was a routine play, but it got over the head, over there, of whoever that is right field. And we got to run around. All right, three-two count for Robbie. Lefty, lefty. Let's see what he can do. Of course, I'm sending my runner over at first, just in case. Um, that's dropping. Oppo. Oh, snap. That is going to the deep of left field. I am testing it. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Relays in. We'll take the run. That I guess that's a real-life triple. Yeah, it's a real triple. There's not an error on that play. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, Tim. Let's make this a 9-3 game. Make it a 9-3 game. He doesn't do that. All right, bummer. Keep that perfect ERA. It's a 3-1 count. Make that 3-2 because Bummer doesn't miss his spots. Get that sinker high and away to Perdomo and send him down. That's where we are now. Five outs away from taking a lead in the World Series, baby. Yes, sir. 3-2 count to Cattell Marte. Got him swinging. Aaron Bummer is the man. An investment we made last season. Trading for Aaron Bummer is, is making up for everything we gave up here in the World Series. I don't even think we gave up a ton. I don't remember what it was, but I don't think we gave up a ton. But here we are in the World Series, pitching bummer, and he is out of the eighth inning like that. Look at split. It did not take much. It does not take much. We are three outs away, baby. It'll make it a perfect game if Benettini can get a hit against a left handed hitter. I'm under it. That's fine. That's fine. This game is wrapped up anyway. We're not giving up five runs in the ninth. I promise you that. This game is wrapped up. Oh, I sold. I sold. I did not sell. Aggressive base runner. Just got us a, a second and third. Oh, my God. Okay, I need to be more aggressive on the base pads, man. Because you never know how the throw's going to go. You don't know if the person's going to be able to swipe the right way. You don't know everything. So you just got to let it fly, man. You got to round them bases, especially if they already hit the momentum. And that's exactly what he had. Here's Jorge. Here's Jorge. All right, man. Never have too many runs. Oh my God! I'm I. Woo wee! That was embarrassing. Ha 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 ha! I like high fastballs. That's for sure. But that was too high. I would love a double-digit game, a double-digit run game. That's not gonna do it. All right, we're gonna go into the ninth inning. I'm letting Bummer continue it until he proves that he he's hittable. Um, and then we go into game number two, baby. Seth Beer gets it started. Down the third base line, and it goes foul. Oh, my God. By nine feet, it said. And it ends in a, in a K because Bummer is unhittable. Are we are we being real? Bummer's that nice? Second out, Ryan Mountcastle gets a routine play. We are three strikes, one swing away from taking a World Series lead. Var shows up to bat. This is routine. Oh, no. No, why did we grab it? That's fine. No, we were one pitch away from ending the game. Ah, dang, that's unfortunate. Varsho, got a lot of stick, man. Got a lot of stick. Wait, did he hit a home run, a triple, and a double? Was he the guy that got the triple <laughs> that tried to run uh, around the bases? Oh, no, that was Beer. Beer was a double and a single away from the cycle in the World Series. <laughs> They are down to the last out, and it is G-Man Choi, lefty-lefty. It is a 1-2 count. I'm giving him a uh, sinker inside. Oh, my God. He swings through it, and we have taken a World Series lead, man. Ben Attendee, player of the game, as you can imagine. He was amazing, and Renola was amazing on the bump. Cannot forget about him. And, yeah, man, we're going into game number two with the lead. All right, man. I'm excited but nervous. I can't really control simulation like that, you know? We might feel like the overwhelming favorite because we just put up 19, oh, I'm sorry, 17 hits in game one that turned into eight runs. 
Um, but I can't really control it, you know what I'm saying? So, we'll, we'll see. Oh, John Means is a left-hander, by the way. I don't know why in my mind I was thinking he was a right-hander, but he is a lefty. So, we got a lefty up to bat, um, up mean pitching. They got Bumgarner. Got to take care of business. Got to take care of business. They got their lefty. We got a, a, a bunch of... Oof. They got their lefty. Um, I mean, even, even though VR might hit a little bit better, Robbie's splits versus lefties is actually better than VR. So I'm just going to ride with my young guy. I'm just going to ride with my young guy. Hey, let's get it. John Means, strikeout, ground out, single, two singles. We're out of the inning. Tim Anderson, pop out, single, single, strikeout. Polanco! Brawls a walk. Cedric Mullins, this is lefty, lefty. Does it matter? It does. Ah, unfortunate, Cedric. That's fine. That's fine. Because we got another opportunity here. We draw a walk to lead off inning. That is good. Field is choice. Field is choice and a flyout. All right. All right. So far, the pitching has been really good. Caught stealing. Love it. Adley Rutschman behind the plate doing his thing. Ben Attendee. He, he's going to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say struggle. It's going to be harder for him. To take care of business. Um, Jordan Lup Luplo just hit a solo shot. Back-to-back -back Seth Beer. A double. A sack bunt. They put up three and a four. Wow. Okay, leadoff double for Polanco. Guys, we got to be better. What's the, what are we doing with these bats, man? Solo home run. We, we got to get him out. Luplo? Luplo is killing us? All right. Um, Let's go Michael King, man. Fly out, ground out. All right, we're down 4-0. Double, fly out, single. Okay, we are on the board. It only takes a little bit, y'all. It only takes a little bit to get it going. All right. Okay. It is the eighth inning. Will Smith is in the game now. Ground out, single, strike out, a walk. This is probably the best scenario I'm personally gonna have to jump into game number two. We got two runners on. We have one of our best players, if not if not the best player on the team, Cedric Mullins up to bat. I don't know anything about Will Smith. He could be a, a left-handed pitcher. I'm not completely sure. He is a left-handed pitcher. All right, fastball, slider, curveball, man. One swing can change this game and tie it up. Two outs. We take that pitch way out of the zone. Be patient, Cedric. You, you only got one strike right now, so be patient. Find your pitch. Find your pitch, man. That is not it. Ugh. All right. I'm going into the ninth inning. Going into the ninth inning. Going back to our quick manage. We're going to put Dylan Tate on the mound for the ninth. Um, they just put in Tyler Duffy for me. I did not give them permission to do that. We're down to our last three outs. They put in, I guess it's their closer, Ramirez. And we lose game two. Uh-oh, boys. We got ourselves a series, man. We got ourselves a series. Sean Means got hit around. He has not been good in this postseason. He has not been good in this postseason. And that makes me sad. You know, that makes me really, really sad to see uh, one of our guys basically get hit like that. Jordan Luplo, who didn't even play in game one, came into game number two, and he's the hero so far. Look at everybody being hot. In that game, I could not tell. Um... Yeah, Ja means 660 ERA and it only 15 in his pitch. And I think it like four starts, three starts in the postseason. It's, it's been extremely rough for him out here. All right. We're going into game number three, though. We are in Arizona. I don't know if it's going to be open in there. I don't know if it's going to be closed with that roof. Either way, uh, we're feeling good. We're feeling good. It's, it, you know, it's a long series. I'm putting VR in. You know, like Robbie is just having such a bad series, such a bad postseason. I'm just going to give it a try. And if it doesn't work out, we'll give Robbie back his at-bats. So we got Jonathan Villar playing first base because that's one of his secondary positions. So Ryan Malcastle has moved over to left field. Um, and that is the way we're running it. Let's go. They got Luke Weaver on the mound. He has not been very good so far in the postseason. So hopefully we can hit him around a little bit. And of course, we got Dylan Cease, who's been really good. Solo home run, Mitch Hanniger. A double, sack bunt, strikeout huge. Um, Focus batter, three run, home run. Wow, 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 wow. It is five to zero. We got thrown out at home. We got ducks on the pond. Two out, uh, two outs. Tim Anderson flies out, man. All right, we got it. We got to get him out of the game. Um, they got lefty Valtushup. 
Oh, Baltus. What am I talking about? Um, Bar show up. It's the fifth. It's only the fifth, but he's been, he's not having a good outing. It, Brent's. <laughs> oh, man. We are going down in this series, huh? Wow. All right. We're going down in the series, ladies and gentlemen. We're going down in the series. Um, let's put Munoz in. <laughs> no way. No way, bro. Oh my God, we are getting, I, let's just, let's just simulate. I got nothing else for you. Wow. 15-0 in a World Series game. Wow. <sighs> okay. VR had a hit in his three at-bats. He wasn't bad. Our pitching is letting us down. I mean, obviously our hitting let us down. We put up zero runs. It's actually, no, the hitting is the culprit. Four runs is not a ton. So other than the game we played, we have one run between two games. I mean, th this is this is what we signed up for, though. It's what we signed up for. We got Rodriguez. It's your turn, baby. We got a nine ERA on Kelly. I'm giving Robbie back his at-bats. He literally has a nine ERA now. He's only picked six innings, but he's got a nine ERA, fellas. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wow. We don't have bats anymore all of a sudden. We legitimately don't have bats anymore. What happened to us? We picked the absolute worst possible time to forget how to hit a baseball. A triple. Lead off triple. Thank you, Robbie. Ground out. Fly out. Oh my. I was about to say, if we don't score off a lead off triple, then somebody's getting fired. Okay. So far... Very winnable game. We got two runners on, two outs. They they changed their pitches and we got to fly out. All right, y'all. Tim Anderson, ground out, fly out. Sheesh. Um, I gotta figure out. I'm 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 giving it. I'm giving the ball to Tyler Wells, who has not pitched in the World Series yet. He gives off a leadoff double. Ground out, ground out. We're out of the inning. Beautiful. It's the ninth. We have to enter. It's a tie game in the ninth. I have to play the ninth. Wow, I cannot believe this is where we are. I'm going to warm up um, Castillo. And I'm also going to warm up Michael King in case we don't score here. And we just, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> All right, we've faced this bad a pitcher before. So I know I can hit him. We did a pretty good job over the game number one. I know I can hit him, you know. It's a fastball down the middle and I swing through it. Come on, Kenny. Look, what, what was I thinking that pitch was? 2-2 two, two count. Work our way back into it, man. Work our way back into it. That's not getting through. It's not. I just knew it. Marte has too much range, but we're safe. Lead off base runner. S small contact. Makes it a tough play. We got a lead off runner. Do we want to pinch hit Trey Mancini at the DH? This is where you want Jorge Mateo to be up, man. Colton Cowser, come come run. Come run. All right, Cedric, 0-3 on the day. We need a big moment. He's going a lot of inside, outside, inside, outside, it looks like. Just waiting for our pitch. Our pitch, the one that we believe that we can take. That might have been it, Loki. I was thinking too much outside, as you can see. 2-2 two, two count now. No strikeouts. 3-2 count, baby. Make him work, Cedric. Make him work, baby. Make him work, Cedric. Big time pitch right here. And we take it. And it's 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 landing. It's it's oh my god, it's fair. We have a man on third and second with no outs in the top of the ninth, baby. Let's go. Cedric, big right there. Jorge Polanco's up next. I love that you're a switch hitter because I hate a lefty lefty. Ah, that's not what we wanted, man. They they playing up. Not a ground out to second. Dang, come on, man. I, I wanted a fly ball at bare minimum. All right, that puts us a little bit in the strangle, especially if they're going to intentionally walk us. Oh, God. Oh, I hate it with, with a passion. Who is it? Is it Adley? It's Adley. He's two for three on the day. Adley, be a king. I don't think that's deep enough. It's not. Oh, brother. I, I got to pinch hit Robbie. And the reason I'm pinch hitting is because I personally 
just aren't I'm just not good lefty lefty. So VR, be a stud. Be a stud, VR. They um they played that perfectly. They played they played it perfectly. You get the ground out, you walk the next batter. They they played it perfectly, man. Tim Anderson just hit a solo home run in the tenth. That doesn't make sense. Um, especially since we should have someone on second. I don't either, either way it didn't matter. Either way it didn't matter. Um, did in the uh, go, somebody go back and fact check it. Didn't in year number one we had the Phantom Runner? We've definitely went to um to extras with a phantom runner in year one. Did that rule get changed in year two? I don't know. But boy, that's a huge win tying the series 2-2. Um thank God for Tim Anderson because whoa, I I almost just sold. Not almost. I was selling by not scoring with a man on second and third with no outs. Alright. We go into the next game, baby. We go into game number four five. Is this game number five? Is this game number five? Yeah. Game number we go into game number five. Um, tied series, man. Game number five is huge. I don't know the numbers when it comes to baseball, but I know in the game of basketball, game number five is about as important as anything. So let's go. We put our ace back on the mound. Lead off double. Two run home run Trey Mancini. It's something about when Aaron Nola's pitching. The guys just know how to hit. Also, Ryan Nelson has a 10 ERA. So that also helps us. A lead off double. Run run scored. Beautiful. Here are the bats, baby. Here are the bats. And this man. Oh, we love it. Here are the bats, boys. This this is what we're here for. They they switch pitchers. Do they only have four people in their bullpen? We've seen the same pitchers over and over. And Corbin Martin, we've hit amazingly. Even though he just with zero outs, bases loaded, strikeout, strikeout, ground out. That's that's a pretty good sequence. All right, we give up our first base hit in the fifth. Bases loaded one out. Sack fly. Nola. Not the greatest inning from him. Definitely leaving the game open. It open. It's time. Okay. Um, Michael King, come on. Beautiful. <laughs> Michael King gets jobs done. He gets the job done. All right, we need more runs though. This is not bases loaded. Robbie. I'm jumping in. I'm jumping in. Robbie, be a hero. We we pinch hit you. In a situation last game, and I know that probably felt terrible. This is your opportunity to become a hero. Exactly what we want. This is exactly what we want. What's the count? One 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 count. Two outs. Robbie. Beautiful take. Beautiful take right there. Let's go, Robbie. Open this game wide open, man. Do it. Damn. Yeah, I would be pumped too if I was you, Mr. Martin. That's that's those are huge outs. That's a huge out. Michael King is great though, so we're fine. Solo home run, Tim Anderson with his second of the game. The second of the game. It is time to put in Aaron Bummer or righty lefty switch. It's Bummer's time. He has not been hittable. He literally hasn't been hittable this playoff run. Hit by pitch. Love that. Error. Love that. Love that. Two unearned runs right there. And since Bummer is just a man, we're winning. 3-2 in the series. Aaron Nola, even though he had the the fifth inning, was scary, Aaron. I'm going to be honest with you. The boys know how to hit. It's something about Aaron Nola, bro. It's something about Aaron Nola. I thought that was the second home run from Tim, but it was only the first. Trey Mancini hit one. Adley hit one as well. Um, Boys, th th this could be the game. This could be the game. Um, Exciting stuff, man. Exciting stuff. We got John Means on the bump now. As you know, he has not had a, I would say he has not had a great postseason. <sighs> Cattell Marte with a home run in the first inning. Single Ramon Urias, and just like that, they are out of the inning. Beautiful. All right. John Means, just just tidy up, man. Beautiful. Two men on. Strikeout. Two run score. It is, th it is five. Five zero. Single. Okay. Robbie. I need to do it again. I don't know why Robbie's always the guy up to bat when the bases are loaded, but it's him. We're down five to zero. Zero outs, too. 
Um, let me warm up somebody because that's that's it for him, by the way. That's it for Mr. John Means. Um, all right, boys. Whew, it's one, oh, two, one count. We've hit Zach Gallon pretty good. So let's let's find that that energy from game one. Ah, uh, it's it's deep enough. 65 speed, deep enough. For sure, deep enough. We're gonna get a, we're gonna get our first run of the game. Um, we'll take that. We'll take that. It's only the first out. Okay, we can we can make this work, man. We can make this work. I mean, he almost got all of that. I'm be honest with you. I mean, the PCI placement wasn't great. Uh, but Tim Anderson's up to bat. Let's focus on Tim. Two one count. Tim Anderson is no longer up to bat. All right, Ben Attendee. Hey, you know Zach Gallon is afraid of you, right? You know Zach Gallon is afraid of you, right, Ben Attendee? Oh my God, he can't be that afraid. He threw you a fastball down the middle. Oh my God, I'm so frustrated with myself for missing that pitch. Three two count. That's a base hit. That a score run. Thank you, Ben Attendee. All right, man. All right, boys. Hey, listen, we have ba we have bases loaded. We have two runs right now with a possibility of getting more. We got um, some some good hitters in Amon Urias who kills right. He's up to bat. He's one for two on the day. Let's go, Ramon. That's... Oh, my God. I thought it was getting over his head, bro. I hate the way that those... those That contact looks. We put up two. We're still down three, man. We're still down three. Eric Lauer, what's up? Let's get it going. Dang. Wow. Wow. Eric Lauer is selling. Wow. All right. Zach... I cannot jump in anymore, by the way. I guess I can't. I don't want to in this scenario, though. It is, uh, it is uh, going to game seven. It is going to game seven. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I don't know how I want to do this. I got to keep it consistent, y'all. I, I, I have quick managed games two through whatever during the entire series. I know for almost certain if I played this game, I would win. I know for almost certain... That is the case. So, in order to make it, so there's a chance that we don't win, we're quick managing. With the opportunities, of course, to jump in as I see fit. We're, we're throwing Aaron Nola because it is game seven. And we get out of the inning, and that was a little dangerous one. Um, Nothing is off the table. We could see Dylan Cease in relief. Literally anything is possible today. So far, it's been a pitcher's duel. We got a man on third. Two-run home run, Ben Attendee. Oh, my God. Okay, that's a dub, a leadoff double for Mitch Hanniger. Ground out, strike out, line out. Beautiful pitcher from Aaron Nola so far, man. I'm his biggest fan at the moment. Everyone in Baltimore, retire this man's jersey number. I would love some leadoff double again. Fly out, single. Fly out, walk. Um, he's tired. Who is it? G-Man Choi. Can I look at G-Man Choi's, like, player card? He's terrible against lefties. Absolutely dreadful against lefties. But also, I don't have a lefty, I don't have a lefty other than Bummer that I trust. Do I throw Bummer here? Bummer's the greatest to ever do it, bro. Bummer's the greatest to ever do it. Bummer is the greatest to ever do it. There's no, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Two-run home run, Trey Mancini. I, I'm, I'm starting to feel something. I'm starting to feel something. Pitch and change. Dylan Cease, give me one inning. Give me one inning. Are you, are you kidding me? Thank you. All right. Yes. Yes. Ground out. Strike out. Fly out. Um, it's not a safe scenario. It's not a safe scenario. I'm putting in my closer. It's not a safe scenario. I'm putting in my closer. <sighs> and you know what? I'm even warming up some people because I I don't know. I don't I don't know. I don't know. G Man Choi up to bat again. Diego Castillo throws a strike. One two count. Diego Castillo, three outs from Diego, and we are World Series champions. Ground out to Ryan Mountcastle. We are two outs away, Baltimore. We are two outs away. One-two count to Carson Kelly in the dirt. Okay, 
Try, try to get him going. Try to get him going. It's a lot of pressure to be in the World Series down to last two outs. Yep. Tim Anderson. That's 28 speed. We got plenty of time on that one. We are down to the last out of the World Series. Do you hear me? Josh Rojas has not been very good. He hit a home run in like game number two or three. I remember that. But he has not been good. And we are down to one strike. Sinker inside, baby. Please end it with a strikeout. Please end it with a strikeout. Ooh, I wanted the strikeout bad. Okay. All right. Still possibility we get the strikeout. 2-2 two, two count. Slider inside. Josh Rojas. Diego Castillo. He fouls it off. Keeps the season alive. Keeps the season alive. Same pitch. Slider. Oof. Inside. It's a rough looking one. Got him grounding to Tim. Makes the routine. No way, Tim. Are you serious? All right. All right. Kim is up to bat next. He has not got it hit. It is to Robbie, the rookie. We are World Series champions. Oh my God. We just won the World Series. Congratulations to the champs. Are we? Oh my God. I'm so excited. It took seven. It took a seven. I'm going to give a lot of love to the Diamondbacks. They, they were way better than I anticipated. They were better than every team we faced so far. And we did it. Oh my God. I've never seen this ceremony before. Oh my God. I can't stop. My cheeks hurt because I'm smiling so hard. Yes, sir. Wow. Manu Rios, man. Br Jake Brents fail. Wow, I need some screenshots. I'm sorry. I need some screenshots. I need some screenshots. Oh, I need that. Oh, I need that. I need that. <laughs> Look at the squad, man. Oh, wow. What a journey, bro. What an absolute journey. Player of the game. It uh, goes to Aaron Nola. I mean, no earned runs through five, five and a, a, a two, five and two, five and two thirds. The Orioles won the World Series. Oh, my God. Wow. I mean, World Series MVP. Let's figure out who it was. It was Jorge Polanco. Playoff MVP was Ryan Mountcastle. Wow. I mean, he had one. He Okay, wait, wait. He had 385. Had one RBI. You know? One RBI? That's our World Series MVP. Postseason MVP. I mean, we had a lot of people that were in the running. I legitimately, I think the World Series MVP should have been Ben Attendee. He had three home runs in a seven-game series, two of them being in game one. And I think he had one in, ga in this game, right? Did he have one in game seven? Either way, he, to me, deserved to be the World Series MVP, undoubtedly. Ryan Mountcastle hit 333, five home runs, 13 RBIs. And that is coming off a bomb. Of a regular, okay, not a bump, but he was not amazing in the regular season. And, and we get to the postseason, he was elite. Ramon Arias was so great. I, I'm so proud of him, so happy for him. Unfortunately, he has probably played his last um, game as an Oriole, but I got nothing for love, nothing but love for him. I got nothing but love for him. This this roster right here is forever will be forever remembered. The only reason I'm saying that he's on to his next team is that we have so many people in the minors that deserve an opportunity. Um, and with him probably hitting his ceiling, maybe not. I mean, hell, look, he's got 99 contact versus righties now. Uh, listen, we're going to have a whole postseason episode where I make these decisions, definitely. Um, Trey Mancini, too. You know, he's probably played his last game on the team. So I'm happy. You know, he's got seven years of service time all here in Baltimore. I'm happy that I can help him get a World Series before he moved on to his next team. Ramon Urias has, has also been here his entire career. I'm happy I can help him get a World Series before his career was over here. Um, but again, nothing is set in stone. Um, but what a what a year, man. What a year. Simulate to the offseason, man. And you're wondering, what's next, Kenny? You've done it. You've done the challenge. The challenge is to win a championship. I think we continue. I think we continue. I think we continue the series, man. As crazy as it sounds, we've reached the top of everything. 
I am I enjoy this team so much. I can't be like, oh, now that we won the championship, won the World Series, that we move on to our next team. It's not that easy for me. And I've grown attached to Robbie Dotson. We've only seen one year of service time for Robbie. We've seen two years of service time from Adley Rutschman. I want to continue their careers. I want to go for a repeat. It's going to be tough. It's hard to win championships. It's hard to win World Series. But I want that. Um, so leave a like, and I'll see you all in a couple of days with the offseason episode.